but he brought me and oh his love for me oh his love for me who the sun sets free oh is free
Adam and Eve had many children and grandchildren. Their grandchildren had children and grandchildren, and people began to fill the earth. God looked at all the people on earth and saw that they were choosing to sin more and more. Every person's thoughts were evil, and God was sad that he made people. God decided to send a flood to destroy all the creatures on the earth. But God showed favor to a man named Noah. Noah was a righteous man. He followed God. God warned Noah about the flood. He told Noah to make an ark to save himself, his family, and all kinds of animals. God told Noah exactly how to make the ark. And he said that he would make an agreement or covenant with Noah and his family. Noah did everything that God commanded. When the ark was finished, Noah went inside with his family and the animals, and God shut the door. The rain started and water rose from the ground. Now the ark floated on top of the water. The water rose higher and higher until all of the mountains were covered. Everyone inside the ark was safe. Finally, after 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped and the water started to go down. Noah waited inside the ark until the ground was dry. Then God told Noah to bring all the people and animals out of the ark. So Noah did. Noah built an altar and gave an offering to the Lord. God promised to never completely flood the earth again. God told Noah and his family to spread out over the earth and fill it with people. God placed a rainbow in the sky as a special sign of the covenant that he made with Noah. Every time Noah and his family saw the rainbow, they would know God remembered his promise that he had made with all the living creatures on the earth. God rescued Noah and his family from the flood. The story of Noah points ahead to a greater rescue. God's Son, Jesus, the only perfect righteous one, came to take the punishment for our sin. By trusting in Him, we are saved from the punishment our sin deserves. Bible reading 
is Genesis chapter 6 to 10. Sin entered the world when Eve committed the sin and ate the fruit of the tree that God forbid. So um, after that, they were casted out from the Eden and they actually gave up birth to son, but the first son actually killed the second son. So God gave them a third son, uh, whose name is Seth. So Jesus Christ um, actually came through the Seth's uh, descendant. Sin kept spreading out throughout the whole world and God could not bear and they actually kill, still destroy, and they had a, a full of greed. The people corrupted, and God could not handle, because God is righteous and God has no sin. Genesis 6 verse 5, let's open the Bible, and let's read it together. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The Lord regretted that he had made human beings on the earth, and his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created, and with them the animals and the birds and the creatures that move along the ground. For I regret that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Whole world was corrupted. So after Adam and Eve uh, sinned against God and Cain sinned against God, Cain's descendant actually spread out the world and they actually also made a sin as well. And people's heart did not find the God and they did not seek God, but they only seek their own desire and they keep killing people and keep destroying people and they have full of greed. So God wants to destroy them, but there's one guy and their family found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Who is his name? It's Noah. Because Noah was righteous in God's eyes. Chapter 6 verse 9. This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Jabez. So Noah was righteous and blameless among the people. Because he walked faithfully with God. So guys, if you know God's law and God's heart, you cannot be wicked. So the people who walk with God, they know what is the right way and what is the justice way. And because they walk faithfully with God and they know God's way. And Noah and his family always worship him. And Noah, actually, he's not a perfect man, too. He made a mistake. Uh, through the Bible, you, you will know that Noah also made a mistake. But he always worshipped God, and he walked faithfully with God. And God told Noah uh, to build an ark, because he was going to destroy the whole world. Verse 13, So God said to Noah, I'm going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with the violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark of cypress wood, make rooms in it, and coat it with a pitch inside and out. And God asked Noah to uh, build an ark, and a huge ark. And also God want Noah to bring all the animals and birds, uh, male and female, because God wants to spare or so, uh, some of the animals and livestock. So Noah actually obeyed God and he had a built ark. It took a time and through the years and years he built the ark uh, for so long time and God also won people through the Noah because Noah actually um, warned people but people did not listen to Noah and people laughed at Noah. It is so important that we know God's will 
and know the seasons. So sometimes, you know, we live in a, such a beautiful, beautiful city and beautiful California, but we also have to be warned that the someday God's judgment is going to come to the earth. So we have to always walk with God. But God always have a plan to escape. God asked Noah to build the ark. And God wants to spare His people who walk faithfully with God and who always seek God and worship God. So ark was the, the place that we could be saved, right? And also God wanted to save us as well. How can God save us? Yes, through the Jesus Christ, we can be saved in the judgment day. Yes, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. So guys, Ark represents Jesus. So Ark saved the Noah's family and also whoever believes in Jesus and follows Jesus, and believe that He is the uh, Son of God and He is our Savior and we also can be saved when we believe in Him and when we uh, also follow God, follow Jesus then we can be saved as well Do you remember when Moses actually saved the Israel people from the Egypt? So um, God actually gave them a 10 disaster, right? Plague, 10 plagues. Um, the last plague was to kill the first son of every family, right? But whoever put the uh, blood of the lamb on the frame of the door, the angel of death actually passed over. So whoever put the blood of the lamb, that family was saved. It's the same thing. So guys, that time, God asked Noah to go into the uh, ark and wants to spare Noah's family. And also in the end times, God's judgment will come as well. So we have to be warned and we have to walk with God. What is the God's plan? God wants to punish everyone? No, actually God wants to save everyone. So that's why God gave Jesus Christ to save us. So whoever believes in Him, whoever calls in His name, will be saved. And even though Noah warned people, people did not listen. Um, so only people who believe in God, who worship God, were saved. Noah's family were saved. And after the flood, God promised to Noah and his family, He's not going to uh, punish the people by the flood. God showed Noah a rainbow and remind him, about the covenant. Genesis 9 13, I have sent my rainbow in the clouds and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the cloud, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all lives. And God actually promised uh, gave us the rainbow as his promise and covenant. So guys, you are the people who made a covenant with God. God saved Noah's family through the ark. And God wants to save you and your family and your friend through the Jesus Christ. And he says, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And also, 1 John chapter 1 7. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have a fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus His Son purifies us from all sin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. His blood claim that we are the righteous in God. So guys, hold on to Jesus and call His name and confess your sin so that you can be purified 
You can be the God's child, and also you can be saved. Also, guys, uh, whenever you have a chance, bring your friend to church and let them also have a chance to be saved. Let them hear the message of God. Okay? So as long as you walk with God, you are in the light and invite many people into the light. So guys, hope you have a great week. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And have a great week. And uh, I will see you next week.